This investigation has been going on for hours now, all of it taking place in the lobby of that Holiday Inn behind us. And despite this lengthy investigation, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. Police say it was a hostage situation, a man armed with a gun holding a Holiday Inn employee captive. Minutes after authorities arrived on scene, police opened fire. They did see the suspect inside the lobby, armed, um, and entered the uh, hotel at that point, uh, attempting to make contact with the suspect, and that is when the officer-involved shooting occurred. The suspect was rushed to the hospital, where he later died. Nobody else was hurt, though guests admit the incident has left them rattled. Very disconcerting to wake up, you know, catch a flight. I wasn't even supposed to be at this hotel last night. My flight got canceled, so I just booked the closest thing to the airport and uh, you know, to wake up and hear that, I probably won't stay here again. Still unclear is the motive. Investigators say the suspect did not have any connection to anybody here at the Holiday Inn. The violent confrontation is something police say they're trained to handle. Based on the dispatch, you know, it's a, it's a very uh, intense situation and our training, uh, we respond to our training and uh, we have a duty to go in and protect life, and um, in this situation, the officers at some point deemed that that was necessary. Police are not releasing details about the shooting, though they did put out this picture showing the gun they say the suspect was armed with. Another detail that remains unclear is the 911 call. It was made by the hotel employee who was also being held hostage. So that's a key question. How did that hostage make that call? That's something authorities are sorting out. And of course, the big question, why did this man go to this Holiday Inn and take somebody hostage to begin with?